My name is Nancy Pratt. I'm from Terrace, British Columbia, Canada. Hello from Canada. Um, I am an advocate for getting the truth of breast implants out. I have been personally harmed through having had them. Um, I had Dow Corning silicone breast implants for 22 years. They were unknowingly ruptured for 16 years and they were recalled devices, but I was never notified. Um, my implants were removed in uh, October 2013, although I still have silicone um, inside me that couldn't be removed. Um, I'm not going to get into the full spectrum of uh, symptoms that I had from my breast implants. Um, I can say that I certainly had the same symptoms that are typical um, for women globally when they become ill from their breast implants. And it's the same set of symptoms that women have become ill with since implants were introduced in the 60s. Um, so what I do want to call attention to today is the fact that I have silicone in my lymph system. Um, it's certainly not an uncommon uh, complication with breast implants. Um, in fact, it almost seems that if you have implants, you're more likely than not to end up with lymph node involvement. Um, and for me, this is um, a really serious issue that in and of itself um, is reason to ban them outright, in my opinion, to ban breast implants outright. Um, not only because they are causing uh, silicone to be uh, left inside our, our lymph system, um, but that there's no protocol for even dealing with it when, when that complication happens. There is no standard protocol. Um, regulating bodies are not able to tell women what to do about it, and they're certainly not able to tell us the long-term implications of having it. Um, however, historically, women have gone on to develop lymphomas and other uh, sort of um, nasty health complications because for obvious reasons, having silicone clogged um, lymph nodes is not a good idea to have that inside your body. Um, a functioning or non-functioning lymph node is never a good thing, uh, especially when it's, it's embedded with silicone. Um, and women are not being notified of this complication. Um, I was certainly never warned about it. I don't know another woman with uh, silicone in their lymph nodes that was warned about it. I don't know another woman or another woman with breast implants, period, that was ever warned that it's a possible complication. Um, and we certainly should have been notified. Um, women are not being uh, informed in general with the risks associated with, with breast implants. And there's no protocol even in place for removing them properly. There's a lot of plastic surgeons who are putting them in. Um, there are very few who are actually properly trained to remove them um, in, on block so that um, all of the scar capsule is removed as well. Um, so I'm again calling on regulating bodies to step up and do more to protect us because shame on them, they've certainly been failing women since breast implants have been introduced and um, are continuing to do so. And the buck stops with them and it's time to step up to the plate and it's time to get these things off the market and um, do your job.